السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته أهلا بجميع تلاميذة الأعزاء My dear colleagues I hope you are doing well these last days of Ramadan كنتمنى لكم عواش المبروك إن شاء الله دار شراء وأخير لا يجعل إن شاء الله بالأجر والعتق من النار هذا النار سعيد إن شاء الله إن سعيد ندير واحد ريفيو اوف تانسيز اند باي ذيس اوكيجن اي وود لايك تو ثانك ميسيز سليمة المنصور شي بروفايدد مي ويذ ذا سلايدز ريتن سكريبت اند اي ميد ات الايف ثرو ذيس اوديو فيجوال بريزنتيشن اي ثانك هير سو ماتش فور ذيس generous contribution with you as usual Mustafa Mohib you're a teacher of language of English language teacher from Adlash Shani High School First City okay what's the difference between present simple and present continuous Present simple, things which are always true, scientific truths or facts. Example, water boils at 100 degree Celsius. It, it, uh, we can also use present simple with permanent situations or healthy, uh, or sorry, or nearly permanent, true for a few years at least. Julie lives in London. Can also be used in habits or things we do regularly. Example, I drink coffee every morning. It can also be used for future events which are part of a timetable. Example, my plane leaves at 8 tonight. You see, these are some of the uses of present simple. Whereas present continuous we use it when things which are happening at the moment of speaking. The Bandash Kandir, I am teaching online. This is present continuous. Is what we do at the present moment of speak of speaking. Example: the water is boiling now, so you can put it in past. We can use also present continuous with temporary situations. Example: Julie is living in Paris for a few months. Usually she lives in London, okay, but now she's living in Paris for a few months. We can also use it with situations which are slowly changing. I am getting better at speaking English. We can also use it with temporary or new habits. Example, I am drinking too much coffee these days because I'm so busy at work. We can also use it for definite future plans. I am meeting John after class today, okay? that these are some examples very good you see here scientific facts we have here the expression now it helps us use the present continuous and here water boys with s you know s it means simple present and here habits or things we you do regularly i drink coffee every morning very good now please remember Stative verbs describe a state rather than an action. They aren't usually used in the present continuous form. Please, we don't use present continuous form with stative verbs. I'm sure you will ask me what is a stative verb. Don't worry, I will explain to you what it means. She really likes you. She is really liking you. We cannot say this. Okay. This one is unacceptable. Okay, why? Because the verb like is a stative verb. We say, she really likes you. We don't say, she, re she is really liking you. I don't know the weather. Uh, sorry, I don't know the answer. I am not knowing the answer. 
No, you don't use continuous form with stative verbs. It seems, oh, he seems happy at the moment. You cannot say he is seeming happy, okay? Because it's it's a it's a verb of state or stative verb. Stative verbs often relate to thoughts and opinions. Example: agree, believe, doubt, guess, imagine, know, mean. Sorry, mean, recognize, remember, suspect, think, understand. These verbs are verbs of thoughts and opinions and please we don't use the continuous form with such verbs we have also some verbs of feelings and emotions dislike hate like love prefer want wish we don't use continuous form with these verbs other verbs of senses and perceptions appear be feel hear look see seem smell taste okay and the last one is possession and measurement. Belong, have, measure, own, possess, weigh. But there is an exception here with the verb have. If it is a verb of, of possession, we do not, you cannot use the, the, the continuous form. But it can be used in continuous form when it has another meaning. Example, I am having lunch at 8. You see, here have does not mean possession, it means taken. Okay, very good. Past simple. The past simple shows us that an action was in the past, not in the present. It was in the past and finished in the past. Regular verb past simple have always ed at the end. Example, called, laid, arrived. Irregular verbs have a different form, wake, woke, break, broke, okay? My parents called me yesterday. I woke up early this morning. We make the negative, the negative with didn't and the infinitive verb. Example, my parents didn't call me. So we have didn't plus infinitive. You cannot say didn't called. Please pay attention. Don't double the past. The past take the form in the didn't. I didn't wake up early this morning. We make the question form with did and then the subject an infinitive verb. Did you wake up early this morning? Okay, now we go to past continuous. The past continuous shows us that an action was already in progress and at a certain time in the past. Example, what were you doing at 8 p.m. last night? The answer, I was studying. This means that I started studying before 8, okay? The past continuous can also show that an activity was in progress for some time, not just for a moment. Example, we were cleaning, all, we were cleaning the house all morning. The form here is subject plus was or were plus verb plus ing form. Example, she couldn't come to the party, she was working. Three years ago, we were living in my home in my hometown. I tried to give him some advice, but he wasn't listening. What were you doing this time last year? Past continuous and past simple, when we use these two tenses together, it shows that the past tense as the past simple action happened in the middle of the past continuous action while it was in progress example while i was studying i suddenly felt asleep we often use these two senses to show an action interrupting another Yes, this action interrupted this one. So, was sleeping or studying? Fajatan nest to nest. Okay, example I broke my leg when I was skiing. The action, the long one is skiing, but tout à coup tu te cassé la jambe. As I was going to work, I saw an old friend. We were watching TV when the power went off. Look here, 
this diagram. So this is the action in the past while I was studying. Okay, this is the action. And then suddenly I felt sleep. See, so the action I was sleeping was, was taking place. It was taking place, okay, like this. Tout à coup, you feel a slap, a sleep, okay? Great. Can you see the difference in meaning of these two senses? When the guest arrived, Jane was cooking dinner. When the guest arrived, Jane cooked dinner. So what's the difference in your opinion? الأولى فجأة الضيف جين كانت كتوجد العشاء ثانية فجأة الضيف جين شت وجد العشاء very good so in the first one Jane started cooking dinner before the guests arrived في حين in the second one in the second sentence the guests arrived first and then Jane started cooking you see to the last use the simple past or past continuous. Example, while the teacher was explaining the lesson, the students were taking notes. When we, when we use past continuous in both parts of the sentence, it means that both actions were happening at the same time. Example, while the mother was preparing lunch, the kids were studying online. Donc, action one. Yeah, the past. Okay. Well, action two. Hala. Yeah. The past continues. Donc, the two actions can be machine from the slot. Or the work. Duration was long. Great. Now we move to present perfect simple and present perfect continuous. Present perfect simple. The form subject plus have or has plus past participle. I have finished. I haven't finished. Have you finished? He has done, he hasn't done, okay, has he done. Use, we use the past perfect simple mainly to express that an action is complete or to emphasize the result. If you hand the present perfect continuous, the form subject plus have or has, okay, sorry, have or excuse my horrible control of the cursor. Okay, plus has or have, plus been, plus verb, plus ing. I've been learning, I haven't been learning, I have you been learning, he has been playing, he hasn't been playing, has he been playing? Use, okay, we use the past perfect continuous to emphasize the duration or continuation or continuous course of an action. Okay, for result. We use present perfect for to express result. Example, what, how much, how often. I have written five letters. How, okay. How many letters have you written? I have written five letters. So here it's a, I have been to London twice. How often have you been to London? I have been to London twice, okay. Emphasize emphasis or on completion. I have done my homework. My homework is complete now. Okay? Or use for a desired result. I have washed the car. Result, the car is clean now. Okay? The hint, present continuous, present perfect continuous, duration. How long I have been writing for an hour? It has been raining for two hours. And now to express duration, to emphasize on duration. Emphasis on duration. I have been doing my homework, meaning that's how I have spent my time. It doesn't matter whether the homework is completed or not. Because what you had, I have been doing my homework for hours. You emphasize on duration. Unwanted side effect. Why are you so wet? I have been washing the car. Side effect, I became wet and when I was washing the car. It doesn't matter whether whether the car is clean now, okay? Good. For permanent, James has lived in this town for 10 years, meaning he is a permanent resident in this town of this town. Okay? Or I have written 
this essay, I have been writing the essay. Okay. Temporary, James has been living here for a year, meaning the situation is only temporary. The form. Oh, sorry, past perfect. The form is had plus past participle of the verb. Use when two actions are in the past and one precedes the other. The first in. The first in. Past perfect. And the second one is in simple past. Example. Jane had done her homework before she went out. And I have the deux actions. Okay, L'action number one here to do the homework. So it must be in past perfect. When I arrived in, at the airport, there was no plane. It had taken off. perfect. Action one here. The first action here. It had taken off. I didn't go to bed until he had set his alarm clock. Okay. Normalement, il faut utiliser le past perfect. Le past perfect est utilisé avec already, before, after, until, as soon as. You see? Now, we'll go into rapid decision. I am thirsty, I think I will buy a drink. Now, it's a rapid decision. Offer that looks heavy, I will help you. Okay. Promise, don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I do so for an Okay. Threat, tahdid. If you don't stop, I will tell your mother. Refusal. She won't listen to anything to say. Go into prior plan. The decision was made before the moment of speaking. Example, I'm going to play football with my classmate next Sunday Saturday. Evidence, signs. When there is There are signs that something is likely to happen. And that provision, okay? Or forecasting, whatever. My stomach hurts a lot. I think I'm going to throw up. Yes. This is future simple versus, okay? Sorry. This is future perfect. The future perfect is formed using Subjects plus will plus have plus past participle of the verb. The future perfect is used to talk about action or events which will be completed by a particular time in the future. Example, by next November, I will have received my promotion. November, I will You see, future plus perfect. By the end, by the year 2000, 2021, we will have finished building our new house. In the future, we will have perfect. So, example, by 2030, I will have retired. In the future, we will have retired. I will have I hope this review has given you an idea of how to use all the tenses in context okay i'm very happy to be again with you here keen on seeing again inshallah stay home stay safe thank you very much for your lovely attention and thank you very much